A businessman once came into Buddha's assembly and spat at Buddha. He was furious that his children, who could have spent their time earning money, meditated with Buddha instead. Buddha merely smiled at him. There was no word, no reaction. The man walked away in a huff, shocked. He could not sleep all night. For the first time in his life, he met someone who smiled when he was spat at. His whole world had turned upside down. The next day he went back to Buddha, fell at his feet, and said, Please forgive me, I didn't know what I did. But Buddha said, No, I cannot excuse you. Everyone in the assembly was taken aback. Buddha said, Why should I forgive you when you have done nothing wrong? The businessman reminded him of what he did on the previous day. Buddha simply replied, Oh, that person is not here now. If I ever meet the person you spat on, I'll tell him to excuse you. To this person here, you've not done anything wrong. Identity is liquid. Like water, it can change shape. However, we have an illusion that it's fixed in stone. If you sit on the couch eight hours a day, we call you lazy. And soon enough, you see yourself as lazy too. This tag is made of your past actions and will bite you when you try to improve. Even if you exercise and get fit, if you keep the label of being lazy, you will always see the lazy fat person in yourself. When you're in the illusion, your growth becomes limited. You fail in tasks that go opposite to your identity. This places a huge ceiling on your life. You'll only be able to do what your past allows you to do. Psychologists say identity is derived from our memory. When we tend to derive identity from our past, we engage in rearview thinking. That's when you look into the past to define what is possible for you in the future. When you say, I'm too shy or too anxious or too stupid or too ugly, you're remembering all the times you have done that. A better way to live is through the lens of the present, like Buddha. I know you aren't a teenager and most of your identity is anchored, but research proves you can still start to reshape later in life. Write down who you want to be on a piece of paper. Figure out what actions you need to take to become that person. What's stopping you from showing up and being that person right now? Maybe it's your past. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.